the interdenominational funeral service in honor of the retired President Daniel Arab Moy, so who was who in the religious circle. Men of the cloth from at least ten denominations graced the event. Among the notable denominations included Anglican Church of Kenya under Archbishop Jackson Olesapit, Redeemed Gospel Church headed by Bishop Arthur Kitonga, and Catholic Archbishop Cardinal John Jue, among others. As the head of AIC Kenya, retired Bishop Yego. The host church, where the late Moy worshipped for many years, AIC taking charge of the Requiem Mass. And as per the wishes of the family together with the church, retired AIC Bishop Silas Yego, who was the late retired president's clergy for many years, delivered the word of God. Yego Tamin Moy is a God-loving man who cherished reading the Bible and memorized many verses, with his favorite being Galatians chapter 2, verse 20. What I am reading to you today is quotations from his head. He did not read. He had memorized. To tell you how serious he was, when he stood in a church service, he could quote Luke 15, 7, which says, I tell you that in the same way there will be more rejoicing in heaven over one sinner who repents. Yego testified that since Moy got saved in 1934 and got baptized in 1936, he had a passion in seeing people follow his path and would on many occasions preach to many. He preached to many people, although he did not force anybody to believe. Because he believed, and I quote him, the heart is deceitful above all things and beyond cure. He further called on leaders to emulate the late Moy by avoiding divisive politics that lack the interest of others at heart. As the curtains come down on the funeral activities in Nairobi County for the late retired President Daniel Arap Moy, focus now shifts to Kabarak, where he's said to be interred on Wednesday in an event said to be attended by thousands of Kenyans and foreign dignitaries. Nancy Okware, Channel One News.